<sighs> Before we go on the torture, that is going to be this boss if Gulp was a pain in my ass and started bugging out as we all saw. We're now going to go do the speedway, because that would be fun. When I'm not talking and I'm quietly doing it at my own pace and just patiently do it, I get most of it done first time and then I just go back and just do it again, 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 again. Sure. No, I won't. And one thing I didn't realize is there are orbs. I just don't know how to get them. Because they said there are no talismans for these. And I was like, okay. <clears throat> okay, sure. You know. Ah. Uh, Oh, I'm fucking this all up. Missing shit. Oh, no, my cat's coming to kill me. Don't kill me, no! Please! No! 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 Did you guys get that it's in a desert canyon? So, yeah, gotta have whistling. Yay, we got one of also a couple of everything. Wow! Wow! Yeah. My cat is curious as to what's going on because I'm LPing a lot at the moment and I've packed a load of shit into boxes and bags because I have to start that shit soon. And uh, he's like, why are there all these boxes and bags with all of our stuff in? I don't understand. And I think he's getting panicky because the last time this happened, he had to go, like, I was traveling from one city to another and he had to go in a long-term transit thing and he hated it. And I felt really bad. And this time it's literally just down the road. It's literally a cab drive, like a 10, 20 minute cab drive. And he's just like looking very concerned. Is all I'm saying. Fuck you. Why is this so shit? Should have gone the other way. We got two. We did not make our money back. But you know, like I said, I did one of them. I got everything, I did the all-in-one thing. He gave me a, you got a good time, this is your best time. And it didn't give me an orb, and I was like, all right. Do I have to find the orb whilst doing this time shit? Do I have to beat a certain time? I don't think I'm ever gonna bother. Until I get really, really bored. If there's another lockdown, I'll probably get really, really bored. But you know, I'll probably just improve my LPing schedule. <laughs> just do some other games. So we're about to do this. Yeah. Why meow? Why meow? He's having a little snozy. Why do I always do this when there's a tornado behind me? Well, I was gonna go in, but then someone wanted to give me a last minute motivational speech. Oh, did he let me? He's gonna kill the sheeps. Wake up, sheeple.
little surprised. These guys, uh, they have very shit rapport. Like, they feel like they're both trying to, like, bounce off of each other, but it's like, ha ha, you, sir, I will fight you. And he's like, right, yo, are on. It's like, again, it feels like it's directed by Tommy Wiseau. I said that about something else recently. Do I need more? No one. Even people who played the first game. Hey, he's way taller now. That's bullshit. Fuck off. <laughs> I have one. I have two. I need three. I feel like I need three. No, 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 no! Fucking asshole. Come here, little shitball. Oh, and he gets them too. Like gold. <laughs> oh, there are achievers for doing all of these bosses uh, without killing fodder enemies, which just makes you mean like beat the game without being hit three times, or you know beat these bosses without being hit three times, and it's just like you can see I'm struggling <laughs> because I'm a poo babby. No, 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 yeah. Ow. Ow. Too bad. Waluigi time. Oh. Why would you make power-ups that he can also use as dumb? So what is the power-up here? Am I electric? It, well, it lets me hit him, but it just didn't feel like... Oh, is I supposed to be doing like that? Yeah, 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 get the green. I missed the green. Oh. Oh, I don't like this one. Oh, I'm going to hit him with that. Oh, I hit him with that. <laughs> I didn't say that I'm finding it easier because then he will release some bullshit. Oh, he's dead. That can't be it. I'm pretty sure there was a flying section. He gets metal gulp. Oh! Yeah, he gets bullshit. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, yeah, just put it next to him. Because that's great. That's a good idea. Just drop them on his head. Yeah, there we go. Drop another one on his head. <laughs> Literally dropping them into his mouth. <laughs> like... Again, you're really just battling the camera. That's what you're dealing with. Mm. 
You're dealing with the camera. They throw them off screen. He hits you from above the screen. Just keep comboing him. <laughs> smack, smack, smack. You drop one that's not next to him. And literally they have one line from him. He's like, Wah! So that's not annoying or anything. Yeah, there's a difference between Clancy Brown doing what he does with Neo Cortex, where he's literally like, I love this role. It's one of the favorite roles I've ever taken. I love reprising this role. I really give it socks because I care. And then there's whoever voices Ripto, who's literally just like, yeah, no, I'm phoning it in, I guess. <laughs> and like, maybe he liked it as much, but he's just, you know, it doesn't even sound like the same guy from before, which probably means it isn't. You know? Ow. See, it's literally the same line. Clearly, like, the VA for this guy was just like, give me my paycheck and leave. Let me leave after that. Health bar goes down because there's so many stages to this fight. And I used to love this fight. Uh, as a kid, I used to think this fight was really cool. But like, because it has so many stages and it basically introduces all of the things that you've been doing throughout the game, it's a really well designed boss fight. I say as I eat shit, but like, I'm literally like walking into them. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, this bit's a hard bit. I can't remember if it checkpoints you at any point either. You might have to do the whole fight again if you fuck up, which we'll probably see. Where'd you go? Camera. Oh, wow. There we go. <laughs> hey, we saved your castle. My castle's full of burning lava. Saved your castle. <laughs> My beautiful winter tundra ruined. Be my shots, motherfucker. Or not. Uh, oh, hello. Dead. K.O. You win. Oh, he just eats shit. Wow, he's dead. No wonder he doesn't really come back. <clears throat> well, that was a short LP. Not as short as Spyro 1. Oh good, all these lovely characters we care about so much. Eat the rich! Yeah, Hunter. Hunter is redeemed. Well, it was your money that I was stealing. The 
Newcastle for Wallaba. <laughs> I'm afraid we can't come with you into your world, Spyro, because we're not important enough characters yet. We may not get it out, out of the sequel. Some of us don't, says Alora. The one character who doesn't come out of this game. <laughs> no, seriously. The professor gets into three. Hunter gets into three. Uh, money bags just follows you forever after this. Look at this nice artwork. Isn't it a shame that this super cute Spyro artwork just didn't translate very well into the game? Because it looks super nice. Now, as I've seen throughout my Crash and Spyro LPs, these credits don't change. They are the same for all of the games. They just have the credits for every game in there. So we're just going to skip it. This rip to defeat. <sighs> yeah, no, I think they ruined Ripto and the the... the no, the Gulp and Crush did barely got a change at all. They're just exactly the same, but... I don't like the new voicing. I don't like his new design. I still like, what the fuck is he? He hates dragons, but he looks like a humanoid dragon. Uh... Progression more. <laughs> hey, I have eight thousand gems. I just don't have fifty five orbs. That's a lot of orbs, isn't that like all the orbs in the game? I mean, it doesn't say an out of, but it has for gems out of, but like. Yeah, I don't want to work it out from here, am I? That's a lot of orbs. Why is there a Nork? Why is he a little weird? So they're furthering the fact that, like, Norks are just people or creatures that exist in Spyro's world that can hold down jobs and be people that you have to speak to and can be respected enough to be security guards, which furthers the point of what the fuck is Spyro want? The annihilation of an entire race because their leader got salty that you called them like, called him a smelly butt and turn you all into crystal and you thought, well, that's fair enough. Now global global destruction of your race. Because, <laughs> you know, we went on TV and mocked you. Like, <laughs> holy fucking shit when you think about it that way. Let's get some penguins. Penguin. Thank you, penguin. Your sacrifice was not in vain. Never yours, the slaughter. <laughs> What's your favorite deep cut arch enemy song? I like Bloodstained Cross. Now I don't know what I'm doing, but it's just like there's only 20 minutes done on this. So, oh, Retro Speedway. That's what we're doing. Oh, uh, Bloodstained Cross, other deep cuts that I like. Uh, no Gods, No Masters. Got a great fucking, fucking deep, hard bar. There is no sacred place, no perfect world. But if your heart's filled with hope, no, your head's filled with hope, your freedom is heart, freedom in your heart, be strong. Take your chance, make this way a better future comes. And just the whole theme is just like, yeah, that speaks to me, man. You can't change me, bitch. <laughs> I am who I am. Believe it. 
Sorry, am I ruining music for everybody? Just gonna keep talking about deep cuts. Fucking love me some deep cuts. Hmm. Hmm. It's retro. I mean, it's retro for this one level, right? Because, you know, Spyro 1 had a lot of different vibes going on. Okay, I did all this wrong. It's all going wrong. Oh, I'm sorry, Warus. Are you giving me orders? That's adorable. did one. Mostly because they tried to give me all this. Oh. Uh, yeah, let's think of some more deep cuts. You know, think of some bands. Someone tried to sell me a fake Ducati today. That was fun. So I was like, ooh. And they were like, yeah, it's only like... It's only like 17,000 for a Ducati, fake Ducati Diavel, Diavel. And I was like, Diavel? I don't know. Oh. Oh, these are pain in the ass, aren't they? That. Damn it. Go against the tides. Oh, okay. Well, now this is happening. Cute. You are not retro, by the way. Oh. Not bad though, right? Let's try and do it in some semblance of order this time. Look at the screen. It points you at the doves. Which means you think it really wants you to do the doves first. Because it unlocks certain areas, right? Like it brings certain uh, parts down. You can do these at the same time, sort of. Now we got way more time. Yeah, so there's a, someone got me in contact with a guy, right? And they were like, yeah, there's this guy. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. There's that other one up there. Oh, well. Oh, no. Are you... Shit. Shit, shit, shit. He was so close. Those arches, man. You just gotta do them as a circuit. Yeah, this guy was trying to sell me like these fake, like they were like, oh, there's a South African guy, my mate says, oh, that I met in a bar. <laughs> and he's got a fake Kawasaki ninja off of this bloke. So this is really good, man. So that it goes like the clappers. Oh, it's so fucking great. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, cool kind of thing. Like, cool story. Oh, you just have to sing your rope. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. 
I don't know why we're doing this to these poor punji jumpers. This this is nightmare fuel. I keep doing them in the wrong order here. <laughs> doing it again. Oh god damn it. Oh, I did it again. Broke the chain. Breaking the chains around me. Nobody else can buy me. Oh, we're so close. By which I mean we've missed the dove. We missed him. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> No orb. No orb. No orb. So yeah, my uh, my mate uh, <laughs> was talking to this guy and he's got us in touch with the guy he bought this fake Kawasaki out. And he's got fake Yamaha R3s fake like Wu Yangs, fake like I want to say another type of Yamaha, I didn't really know. I fought a Suzuki but he didn't, some fake no-name cafe racer style bikes that look modeled off of Honda CBs and shit and Yamaha like Viragos and things and uh, the Kawasaki Ninja copy and then he said oh I'm selling these too and he was like 17,000 RMB, which is like a grand, nearly two grand in my money in pounds for a Ducati Diavel custom or the, I don't know if it's a 2017 model or the 2019 model. It was something fairly relevant, relevant, something fairly newish, but not brand new. Um, I think it was an old number. Um, God, there's just a lot of unfun shit left. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, he was really trying to sell me them, and I was like, 17 grand, that can't be real. Like, straight up, that's not real. And he was like, yeah, 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 no, that's the deposit. you got to pay another 100,000 for it. And I'm like, yeah, I can't afford that. <laughs> like, So it's roughly the cost of a Ducati D Diabolus. And I was like, oh, you know, that's... Yeah, it's cool. I always thought they were fucking cool bikes, but oh, 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 miss the whirlwind. <laughs> and I was just like, yeah, it's a really cool bike and everything. Just I don't have that money just sitting around. Let's do some lava toad killing. Do some lava toad killing. We got one more lava toad quest to do on this, and then we've beaten Skilo Badlands. Yeah, and he was really trying to sell me one of these uh, Ducatis. And I was like, dude, if I had the money, <laughs> you, you know I'd probably buy one. For better or for worse. And, uh, you know, I'm looking at the other stuff he's got for sale, and they're real cheap, right? The fact that these play every time is a bit like... Why would you catch him just to let him go? What kind of nerd are you? They used to have way bigger foreheads. Oh, I'm doing the wrong thing. Rude! This is kicking my ass. Uh, 
So anyway, like I was saying, um, yeah, and like my mates, like, <laughs> meet me buy one with him. Oh, it's that one. I thought it was shoot these lava tones with the bones again, and I was like, oh, they'll just be in different places and I have to shoot them again. It's, there's a stress one. Let's go do the stress. They look, like, they look like they're made by Ardman Animation, you know? The way that he's drawn looks very Ardman Animation. No. to do the first one again. I thought that was too easy. Yeah, so they're like, oh yeah, these are really good. They're like gas bikes, electric bikes. They're pretty good. I don't want to sell me on these. Uh, shit, 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 shit. Oh! Too slow. Oh, what the fuck? He was over there. Oh, he's dead. Uh. Oh, well, what the fuck this then? Dead. Oh, I'm gonna try. <laughs> yeah, like they're trying to sell me these fake bikes, and uh, I'm saying to my mate, yeah, they're fake. Uh, that's not what the problem is. <laughs> I know how to handle a bike, so I know, you know, how to deal with that. Like, you know, I, well, not how to deal with a fake. The problem is, how good is the fake, is what I'm trying to spit out here. You know? Because it's fine to say, oh yeah, it's like, oh, little bastards. Oh no. How are you supposed to be in two places at once? It's always him as well. Oh, you can, you can just like, Oh, you can't, or one. Sorry. Come on. Oh! Nah, I fucked it. Didn't need to kill myself, but I did. It was actually an accident, but... Yeah, so they really... And I'm saying to him, like, dude, it's not a thing that it's a fake, it's how good is the fake. Like, obviously it's not the same bike, so I'm not expecting, like, the performance for that cost. Like, and they're saying it's 400cc imitation bike of this thing. It's like, yeah, what I want to know is if I go around a corner, the brake's going to fail and the wheel's going to fall off. And everyone go, well, it's your fault for buying a fake. You know what I mean? Because I really don't want to deal with that shit. I'm not going to lie. Oh, it's always that little fuck as well. Fuck this. It's literally middle, left, right, and you've got to get across like two great chasms. Today would be nice, thank you. And I fucked it up so I didn't need to get the guy on the left. Or him. Ah. 
Anyway, I did it. That was stress. Because it's really, like, touch and go based off of how far do the villagers move and how far are they able to move whilst you fight the other ones, you know? But we did it. Yeah, so, like, what I'm saying to this guy is, like, I don't care about fakes. I care about whether or not it's safe, you know, because there are no guarantees. And, like, an actual um, company that's selling the real thing has to submit to a set of standards, right? That's why you're paying. <laughs> That's why the companies exist this way. Someone who's clearly making a fake already uh, clearly doesn't give a shit about the law, which is the problem. again I'm just I just wanted to go across I don't want to see his bone dance again so we're, we're having this conversation and we're going back and forth on it and he's like well do you want me to talk to the guy I that recommended me and tell him how ask him how good it is and I'm like well he's like this South African bloke who just is singing their praises and saying that the best things he's ever tried in his life you know and he just keeps saying that again and again, like, oh, it feels like a 600 Kawasaki, it drives like one, but it's electric. And you're like, but he's selling gas bikes as well, and it's just like, I'm more interested in the gas bike, because, you know, he's like, but the electric bike, though, and I'm like, oh, well, I mean, no, it could be good, I mean, I don't know, it's just that, you know, and they're so cheap, I could probably get, like, a cafe racer, like it was like two to five thousand RMB for a cafe racer that's 250 cc. That's probably more my kind of speed. And then there was these super sport copies that were all 400 cc. Then he had those Ducatis that are well out of my price range uh, now, it seems, which is a shame. And um, then he had uh, these electric super sports as well. And I was just sat there like, when he had something else, I can't remember. And he had a lot of styles, and I thought, well, you know, like, I could probably just try a few. I'm probably going to get myself one just as a hilarious experiment for my birthday. You know what I mean? Like, oh, it's my birthday in, say, January, which is like when it starts to get warmer again. Although over in China, it's actually more into spring festival time that it gets you know, which is why spring festival is different every year because it follows the cycles and it actually tends to get warmer around spring festival. So, you know, it's normally the best time, but like my birthday's in mid to late January, so it kind of falls around then, but sometimes it's a little later, you know, whatever. Um, if there's a lockdown, it will give me loads of uh, free space on the road to hoon around, fucking around on it. And it will be a laugh, and I wouldn't be using it for like. So we got all the orbs here. Uh, I wouldn't be using it for commuting because it's just like that's just dumb, you know. to collect. I'm going to start a new recording so I can just talk about motorcycles for a bit and do some basic stuff, although it's nearly midnight. <laughs> I should be going to bed. I've got so much moving of shit to do tomorrow. Yeah, I'm nearly about a third through my beer and uh, my beer and uh, you know, I feel like I should... Uh, Finish my thoughts in the next part, if there's anything left to say. <laughs> <laughs>